guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. It feels really weird starting a vlog with makeup on. I feel like I actually never, ever, ever wear vlogs in my makeup. I wear vlogs in my makeup. Vlogs in my makeup. I feel like on my vlogs you get more of a reality of my life and the reality of my life is that I barely ever wear makeup. I did tell you guys my next video would be sooner than you think. I hope you guys are proud of me that I've actually managed to upload in a shorter space of time than, other than about a year. Like honestly the gap between my videos recently has, has been appalling. Today is a really really exciting day though because I actually am launching something super exciting with Beautyworks today. A lot of you guys have guessed what I'm bringing out with Beautyworks, you clever clogs from the teaser videos and stuff. Uh, but yes myself and Beautyworks have collaborated again and we are bringing you guys a straightener. I am so beyond excited for this evening for you guys to finally be able to see and shop the straightener. We have been working on it for... <laughs> You don't even want to know how long because this is the first straightener Beauty Works have brought out and the fact that they've wanted to bring it out with me is just like, sorry, pinch me because that is such an honour. No caller ID ringing me. One second. Hello. Do you know what? This is why I have to change my number 60,000 times a week because the amount of people that just, I don't know, so many people have my number. Even when I use like normal companies to like order a washing machine or stuff, like I'll get someone ringing me be like, oh hi, my sister gave me your number from this company and I'm just like, why do these people have my number? I thought it'd be fun to go short for this launch just because obviously with a straightener you can use it on any length of hair. You can use a curl kit or a wave kit on any length of hair. But I love my short hair when it is like super sleek and straight and tucked under. And this straightener is chef's kiss for doing that little flick. The little, fun, the little flick, you know what I mean, my little signature short hair flick. I've got a brand new one here to show you guys, very exciting. I feel like I'm literally a, a kid at Christmas right now. Just taking the stuff out of the plastic, but yeah, inside a little straightening kit, you get your little manual here for the instructions. You get a paddle brush with the same beautiful bristles that were on my curl kit brushes. This brush has been so hard to hide from you guys because I use it every single day and it kept like appearing in my vlogs and videos. And I was like, oh my God, I need to crop that out because people can't see that there's a new brush because diehard Beauty Works fans, Beauty Works ex Molly May fans will know that this is a brand new brush. We've not done one in this shape yet. A bit of ASMR for you guys. Unreal. Obviously, you get your heat protecting glove and then you get your beautiful, beautiful, thin, beautiful, sleek, stunning straighteners. I'm sorry. Have you ever seen anything so dynamic and sleek and unreal in your life? Gonna press the little switch here just to open them. And here we have it. What I've been working on with Beauty Works for what feels like 5,000 years. The thing that is so incredible about these straighteners is you can adjust the heat just here. So it's really specific to your hair. If you wanna cause less damage to your hair, you wanna add less heat. Can you guys see that? It's not very focused, but yeah. You just twist the dial here to change the temperature of the straighteners, which is just, I love that so much that you can obviously adjust the heat to whatever your hair needs. I'm just going to take the front section of my hair just to show you how beautiful these straighteners work. So when I'm doing my little flick under I like to run the straightener over the main section of my hair just a couple of times just to get that extra extra straight. When I create the flick I just take my straightener and I start to curve it under really really gently just a couple of times just to get that nice flick under like so and as you can see it's just created the smoothest most beautiful flick which i love so much and i wear every single day when my hair is this length and i was designing these straighteners with beauty works there were discussions about creating a straightener with a thicker plate but i really really stood by wanting a really small thin plate because i just feel like it's more accurate so like it gets all the little bits that you want you can see the difference from going over my hair with my straightener a couple of times. I've now got a really nice, smooth, sleek, straight hair. How I style my short sleek hair with a little flick under with my new straightener and I'm so so happy and relieved that I can finally talk to you guys about it it has been so long awaited Beauty Works have believed in me literally since day one like the first ever thing I was gifted was from Beauty Works like I literally they Penny who owns Beauty Works just had faith in me from the get-go and um, yeah I always 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 adore Beauty Works with my whole heart and yeah thank you Beauty Works for bringing out this incredible straightener with me i hope you guys love it as much as i do myself and tommy decided to go on a walk earlier i was actually meant to spend the whole day working but we just thought you know what we actually need a bit of time just to go out without our phones and just have a nice long walk so we intended to do like a long walk but we ended up walking six miles which i'm not a walker okay well, i do like to go for walks but six miles 
I'm pretty impressed with that. So I'm cooking myself some chicken sausages. Me and these chicken sausages, like, I'm actually addicted to them. I have, like, at least five a day, but as I've said to you so many times, like, it's the easiest way for me to get protein into my diet because I just, I'm not that great with eating um, chicken and stuff. As you can see, the hair is still poker straight with a nice flick, even though we've been walking in. To be fair, it wasn't rainy, but it was very windy. As well, I can't lie, this little fella did happen to be picked up on the way, didn't he? Yeah, he did. It's called, uh... We haven't come up with a name yet. Lenny? He, on his tag it said Lenny the lamb, but I'm not sure about Lenny, you know. I think he's more of like a... But, button? <gasps> button! Hmm. Jack Button? Chocolate Button? Chocky Button? Just Button. Just Button? Button. That's really cute. Button. This is the only pan that works on this cooker, so for every single thing, come rain or shine, I have to use this one frying pan to cook everything. So yeah, do excuse it, I am gonna buy myself some more. Today's lunch is pretty much the same as I put in my last vlog. It's kind of like a different variation of just salad, rice, some meat to get my protein in, and coleslaw. I sit on the sofa now with my new lamb. Watch a bit of Shrek. Good morning, guys. So I feel really bright eyed and bushy tailed. Literally eight o'clock. I'm not gonna lie, I definitely wouldn't be up at this time if I didn't have to be. I have a really, really busy day ahead. I'm sorry for the abrupt ending of yesterday, but basically, I rang my sister up last night and had a conversation with her and was like, I'm midway through this vlog and it can kind of go anywhere. Like, and she was like, I really want to see an updated what I eat in a day routine. And I thought, that might be actually a really good idea and especially since I have a really really busy day of work ahead like I mean a really busy day so I thought we could do a what I eat in a day whilst at work I have had a complete lifestyle change last like three months um I've completely flipped my life upside down in terms of everything exercise food water intake like you name okay water intake is still a bit of a struggle why am i trying to act like i've literally i don't still i still don't drink enough water but i have been on a bit of a journey just with my body finding out what works for my body what i need for my body to feel good i actually do have my dad to thank for that as well because he's really helped me um every single day just like track what i'm eating track my exercise like i'm proud of myself to be honest i'm proud that i've actually managed to sort of turn over a leaf and just feel so much better about myself like i literally feel like a new person anyways i don't have that long this morning so i'm going to go ahead and show you what i have for breakfast my driver just messaged me saying that he's already outside the apartment is so messy i have so much tidying to do uh, but yeah the driver just messaged me saying he's outside but i thought the pickup was 8 30 so that's lovely he's just gonna have to wait kitchen is looking nice and tidy to be fair tommy when i was in the bath last night did come and tidy and clean the surfaces um so this bad boy oh look how tanned i am i did my tan last night extra dark i'm feeling so fresh also look how good my pigmentation's gone i actually i cannot believe it and i feel so bad because i'm getting so many messages asking me from girls like how did you clear your pigmentation and i'm like i genuinely don't know like i just moisturized like three times a day made sure my skin sounds disgusting but was like literally always wet from moisturizer i was in town for meetings and i went to starbucks to get peppermint tea and I found one of these. I actually picked up two for me and Tommy. Even though I knew Tommy wasn't going to use it, it was more so for the fact that I can alternate each day and not have to keep putting it in the dishwasher. Um, but yeah, I got one of the little Starbucks reusable cups. I'm sure all you eco-friendly people will be happy about that because you always comment down below saying I use too much plastic, which I am trying to get better at for sure. I'm not going to go too much into it because I'm really not knowledgeable on this stuff. But the last few months I have been eating in a slight calorie deficit just to sort of get my body back to a point where... I can go on shoots like I'm going on today and feel confident. Breakfast in the morning, I've been having a protein shake. I'm not gonna tell you what company protein shake I've been using because I'm trying out a few. And when I find the one that I really, really like and I really feel like gives me energy and makes me feel good and stuff, I will let you know. But I just use like a basic chocolate protein powder with water not the nicest it keeps me full and energized for the morning and whenever i have porridge or mix it up a little bit i always find myself getting hungry around like i don't know like an hour's time um, but this really keeps me full until like i need a snack before lunch or whatever Manchester.
Monster never ceases to amaze me. Like, genuinely, it just chucks it down with rain every single day. Like, we need summer now. I need summer. Just do a little taste test. Sweet stuff for me in the morning really hits the spot. Like, I don't crave, like, scrambled egg and to toast and beans in the morning. No, like, I need Lucky Charms. Give me Lucky Charms. Give me Curiosity Cinnamon. Give me Golden Nuggets. Instead, I get a protein shake at the moment. But, you know, in the future, when we hit our target, we'll go back to the Golden Nuggets and the Cookie Crisp. Okay, I really need to stop talking now. I get so distracted talking to you guys. I need to, um... Just carry on getting ready, to be honest, and actually, like, maybe clean the sleep out of my eyes, even though I have had a shower and moisturise. I don't know why I still look half asleep. This is Tommy's ASOS parcel. I am going to be the happiest girl in the world. Please be. Please be. Hello? Hello? Hey, it's DPD. I've got a parcel for you. I'm at the front door. Thank you so much. There you go. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Have a good day. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Tommy Fury is going to be one happy boy right now. He ordered this on next day delivery. And I'm not gonna lie, he's been waiting four days for it and every single day he's like, where's my ASOS parcel? Because he never does online deliveries. And the minute he does do one, it goes wrong. Anyway, quick outfit of the day, because I'm in a massive rush. This is not even a nice outfit. I don't know why I'm probably showing you, but grey joggers. I mean, the socks and slides should never have been a combination that should have been showed to me because I've rinsed it. Every single day I'm in socks and slides, even on rainy, rainy days. I don't know, they're just so comfy and I literally just feel like I'm in bed wearing slippers. Um, then I have this t-shirt, which I'll probably get questions about. It's creased. It's um, from Sisters and Seekers. It says, you can take my Lambo, just manifesting that Lambo that I'm dreaming of every single day without a driver's license. And this puffer jacket here is from a brand called Second Skin on Instagram. Um, they kindly sent this to me, so thank you, Second Skin. I love this jacket. It's a beautiful quality. But today, I think I'm going to wear... Um, I ne This is one of my favourite scents, but I never get compliments when I wear it. It's Tom Ford Orchard Salil. Roses Vanille Van Zero is a lovely one if you've not heard of that before. Udis Fam is also one of my favourites. I don't know if that's a bit strong for this early in the morning. Um, I might just go with a trusty Jo Malone, maybe Marantonga. Again, quite strong for this time in the morning. I think I'm just going to go for Roses Vanille. I've literally been wearing this every single day. That's why it hasn't got the lid on it. I'm just going to give this a good spray. Showed you my heart, but you only gave me things We're at the location now and I'm having some fruit and I'm, I'm really gonna try and get good at this what I eat in a day video because that's how much I graze like I'm constantly just putting things in my mouth that sounds so wrong but I'm constantly just putting things in my mouth <laughs> like food wise and um, yeah I'm gonna have to keep remembering to pick up my camera every time I do it so yeah I'm having some fruit before shoots normally people always say like what do you want to have the food wise at the shoot and I'm always just like healthy healthy snacks because if there's like bad things there there are to be fair it's half 10 now so I'm just gonna have this mango and this pineapple as a little snack just before I start shooting and then we're gonna crack on I'm back at the fruit platter just me back at the fruit platter I don't want to do too much talking because there's music on I don't want to get copyrighted but I literally just snack on pineapple and fruit all day mango melon pineapple grapes you name it uh Okay guys, so it's going to be lunchtime very soon, but before that I'm going to have one of these naked salted caramel bars. These aren't ones that I would normally reach for. I've not had a naked bar in so long, but I used to eat these all the time and they're actually really, really good and they're not that bad for you. Hope you guys are liking this look, dressing gown hat. I've just got a dressing gown on now because I went to the toilet and there's like offices here and I just don't think people want to really, really want to be seeing my bare bottom. Quarter to two and we ordered lunch about an hour ago. I've had loads of fruit today. This is like... I've not tried a salted caramel on one of these before. Taste test. Mm. Oh. Really nice, but I don't like nuts. I hate the taste of nut. This is also another unreal um, snack that I always love to have. Just gonna have a handful now, actually. And, but yeah, this proper corn is so good. I love snacking on this. I literally like snuck off in a corner to vlog with you guys. <laughs> I'm just fat popcorn now. I literally snuck off from the shoot. So I'm over here and vlog. <laughs> That's how committed I am to the vlog, guys. Hope you love me for that. Um, but yeah, we're not shooting like really anything majorly exciting. It's nothing coming out. It's just like a little ambassador shoot. Uh, if you guys are wondering why I'm being dead secret about it, I'm not. <laughs> There's nothing really to tell you. Don't you say we got too crazy. A little mischief makes fun. You told me I was your favorite book Was it true? Those good old days Are worth looking back There's one thing on my mind Right, guy. 
Bang. This is lunch. We got it from a place called Kettlebell. It's in Manchester. It's actually right near where Tommy and me used to live. I've got sweet potato mash, chicken breast, guacamole. Guacamole? Guacamole. How do you say it? Guac. Um, bit of lighting there. Some falafel, um, broccoli, and I also have some like chicken thing upstairs, which I'm going to eat as well. Um, this is like, quite a lot. It's actually it's really heavy, actually. It's really weighty. In those times you call me baby. gone on for about a week if that's even a possible thing to say I'm a bit delirious um, I've actually just done a workout I know it's disgusting I'm not taking my makeup off but Tommy was working out and I either was working out with him or not working out at all today so I was like fine I'll just quickly do a quick workout with you um, the makeup was still on pretty disgusting um, but yeah I'm just running myself a nice bath my makeup it's literally destroyed at this point look at it I've had it on since nine o'clock this morning and it's now 20 past 7 in the evening, so it's, it's had a good run. I had so much lunch. I don't know if like the time that's quite caught cool, how long I was eating for, but like there was so much mashed potato in that salad. It just went so deep and I was like digging and digging, so that really, really filled me up. I've not had anything since then, um, but when I get out of the bath, I'm gonna make myself some dinner. I've got a nice cold Coke Zero to have in the bath. I'm not gonna lie, on shoot days, I always end up having quite a few of these because they do get me um, through the day they keep me going i'm using the lms pro collagen cleansing balm again to take off my makeup because i know i'm going to get loads of questions but this is what i mean about using it to take off eye makeup like it's super gentle it doesn't sting my eyes or anything i can rub it right in there to remove my eye makeup and it never stings i'm gonna look like a panda right now so we have reached dinner time i'm really not feeling very well to be honest i feel absolutely exhausted i think i might be coming down with something because tommy's actually been training all day and as much as i've had a busy day like i've had a photo shoot and i've done a little workout like i don't think i should be feeling this physically exhausted like my body feels drained um so maybe i'm coming down with something i guess we'll find out i didn't take out the blooming chicken sausages from the freezer for my dinner so the fridge is empty and i literally don't know what to make for my dinner i've got some ham here and some lettuce and some rice i might make like a ham salad like don't get me wrong like i do have like cheats now and again no, but don't. huh no you don't i do no now and again i do no you don't <laughs> I'm just being, <laughs> I'm just being very I'm gonna make myself a ham salad. This ham tastes a bit funky. I don't know, I'm really off my appetite. Um okay, I'm gonna make something. Let's get it done. Spark like the stars. They look into them and they spell out a different girl. Baby tell me what's it all for you. Or tell me in those times you call me baby. In those hours you do you know what this is exactly what i fancied i know that sounds so weird but i when i find a dinner that i like i just really stick to it and this has been a lunch actually that i've been having for ages now it's like a salad um i put half a packet of the uncle ben's rice and i've just popped it in the bin actually i'll show you i absolutely love from uncle ben's spice mexican um i use half a pack of this one day and i'll use half a packet the next day half a packet of that in here with some sweet corn i've used two bacon rashers um i used a couple of slices of corn turkey ham this one or chicken slices um which i really really like as well because i'm not that great with meat like i've told you guys before then i put some hummus and some coleslaw on top because whole coleslaw is my guilty pleasure i absolutely love it but before i eat that i'm gonna look forward to eating that in a second i'm gonna light the candles because it's not looking overly cozy over here i look cozy Pardon? I look cozy. You do look cozy with... <laughs> the beard. The beard. Eggy bread. And Tommy's actually commentating on BT Sport tomorrow in London, which is exciting. Um, so he'll be there tomorrow commentating on the fights that are taking place. I'm just popping the fire on. 
There we go. Nothing that makes me happier. We'll give you a chance to explain, or maybe tell me you're sorry now. Even if things will never be the same, I will give you every hour on the clock. And tell me every reason, babe. I showed you my heart, but you only gave me fake love. Morning, gang. How are you all doing? I'm really getting good at these abrupt endings to days, aren't I? Like, I just actually always forget to just finish off my day in bed and say goodnight. The day is over. I'm actually in London right now. I had a job in London yesterday, and I also have a job in London tomorrow. A really, really exciting job tomorrow, which I can't wait for you guys to see. I hope you guys did enjoy seeing what I eat in a day. I was speaking to my sister again about it. I mean, me and my sister literally speak about my YouTube stuff. 24 7 she was like oh i think you're gonna get loads of backlash for this video because you know some people are gonna say it's too little some people are gonna say it's too much i feel like with these kind of videos you're never gonna please everybody and obviously there's all kinds of specialists like dietitians and fitness gurus out there that know um a lot more than i do in regards to eating clean eating healthy for me that day of eating kept me energized it kept me full happy and healthy i cannot stress how busy my schedule was about to get like hopefully with covid guidelines slightly um getting a little bit looser not as restrictive um we will be shooting for filter because we're literally still using the same content on our filter instagram that we've been using for a year since barbados because obviously we've not been able to get away to shoot any more content and for a tan company you can't exactly shoot it in skegness or south end on sea like it kind of needs to be like tropical um so yeah fingers crossed we'll be able to go away for that and and get some work done but for a shoot like that for example like i would want to be feeling confident in my body and on my on the last photo shoot i wasn't i wasn't at all so yeah I'm not going to feel bad for obviously like wanting to get into a little bit of shape. I feel like I probably will get back. I've been like, she's not eating enough, whatever. Like I'm going to head off now to the next hotel. I'm staying at another hotel tonight because it's for another job um, in more central London. I've actually bought my Nutribullet with me. I was only belly there. Um, but yeah, that's how strongly I'm sticking to my little routine. I've got my Nutribullet here. I just ordered some ice to the room. Um, and some water and I've got my protein powder so I'm going to make myself a protein shake now. Anyway guys I'm going to bring this video to a close. I really really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for sticking around to the end if you made it. All the details for my straightener which I spoke about at the start will be left down below. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. If you do purchase one thank you so much for the support. Thanks for watching the video guys and hopefully I will see you all in my next one. Bye!